If you're looking for films with badass female protagonists, check out my list of Women on Top movies. And the films that I chose really do all showcase women who are extraordinary, but the world doesn't really know what to do with. They really do have to, against all odds, create those opportunities for themselves. I find them so inspiring, and I'm always like moved to tears, <laughs> which is also part of being a woman on top. Run Lola Run, I saw in the theaters, and it just like blew my mind. Visually, is such an incredible spectacle. It's hard to choose one moment from Run Lola Run because the film as a whole is so dynamic and exciting, but the pane of glass scene that's being walked across the street, in one scenario, the car busts through it, and in a different scenario, the car stops right in time and Lola jumps in the car. It's just like so awesome. That film, I think, still holds up in a really amazing way, and the aesthetic is just like so punk rock, and she's so punk rock, and like, Seeing her run in those Doc Martens, just like, it's all, it's all there, yeah. Diana Vreeland is such an interesting example of a woman who, from a young age, was told that she was not beautiful. And to embrace her femininity and her ideas of beauty in such an unconventional and revolutionary way is just like an incredible feat. There's only one very good life, and that's the life that you know you want and you make it yourself. As fashion editor at Bazaar and also editor-in-chief at Vogue, a big sort of goal of hers was to embrace women's unique qualities rather than create sort of a cookie cutter mold for women to emulate. Like that woman is really tall, let's focus on how tall she is. Or if that woman has a gap in her teeth, let's focus on that and see the beauty in that. Girls from all the different countries in Europe were all coming here and they were so happy to be somewhere else and they were wonderful. They were so charming. It's about whatever makes you feel good and you feel powerful, it's like, Use it, use it to be a badass. Oh. I'd heard so much about Girl Fight since it had come out, but I had never seen it. And so I watched it and it really blew me away. I think Michelle Rodriguez, obviously her performance is incredible in it and it's really exciting to see the beginning of her career like that. I wanna train with you. I wanna be a boxer. Sure, it's a great workout. No, for real. I want to fight. It's such a subversive love story. Like the fact that Michelle Rodriguez is the only female boxer in this boxing world and then falls in love with a male boxer and then they have to fight each other. They kind of have to get really intimate with each other and it is mixed with kind of violence and fear and love and her whispering I love you and then punching him in the face. It was just like, yes, all the yeses forever. Mm -hmm.